Hi, welcome back to Andrew's Pilates. So today we're going to be using the TheraBand. This is made out of latex, so if you're allergic to rubber, I suggest you don't use it. And of course you can do the entire program without the band. What the band does, it creates resistance by putting a load on your muscle group, which makes you just work a little bit harder. They come in a variety of colors, light resistance to heavy, so ranging from yellow or red through to black, which is the heaviest. But just check with your local sports shop and they'll be able to advise you on what kind of band you'd like to use. And you might want to play around with it a little bit. So let's get started. So when you use the band, you can decide on how hard or easy you want to work by changing your hand grips. Obviously, the further away, you've got a little bit more band or you can walk your hands a little bit closer in and it becomes a little bit tighter. And you can do that while you're doing the exercise. So we're gonna start off first, a little bit of a warm up. I want you to sit nice and tall right on top of your sit bones. And if you're very tight in your lower back or your hamstrings, this is already quite demanding for the abdominals because you want to lean back. But you wanna make sure your shoulders are right above your ribs, ribs above your hips. And again, if you're very tight in your hamstrings, the back of your legs, just bend your knees a little bit because it's not about the legs. We're going to start to open the chest, the back and start to engage the core. So hold your band a little wider than your shoulders. You want a little bit of tension in the band. Remember you're sitting nice and tall and you want to keep your ribs closed. So you're going to breathe in, you're going to lift the band above your head. You want to relax those shoulders. Then exhale, you're going to draw the band back down and close your ribs. We're going to go again, breathing in. So it's all about lengthening through the spine, opening the chest. Exhale, close your ribs and slide your lower ribs down towards your hips. Let's go again, breathing in. So just be aware of your breath. Exhale, close the ribs and lower the band down. And again, inhale, each time trying to grow a little taller, relaxing through the shoulders. Exhale and lower. Let's do two more. Breathing in and breathing out. Last one. Inhale, lengthening from your mid and upper back. Exhale and lower. Now you probably want to make the band just a wee bit bigger. Breathing in, you're going to lift. Now this time as you exhale, you're going to shave your back, your spine, by sliding the band down. And then you're going to come back up and over and come back in line with your chest. So we're just starting to open through the shoulders and trying to access those back muscles and open your chest. Starting to warm up and again you want to maintain that long spine. So you need to draw your belly to your spine, keeping those abdominals engaged, keeping the length in the spine as we start to open through the different parts of the body. Breathing in, sliding the band down and then coming back up. Let's do two more like this. Lengthening, try and keep your ribs closed and then come back up and lower down. Let's do one more. Breathing in, sliding the band down the spine like you're shaving and then come back up and lower back down. Now we're going to take the band, place it at the base of your shoulder blades. You want it quite tight. Keep your elbows bent and again make sure you're not leaning right on top of those sit bones. So take a breath in. You're going to open your chest, keep the elbows soft and lift your eyes. So you want to open the chest, exhale and you're going to close the ribs, bring the elbows in. And again, breathing in. Widen your collarbones, flatten them across your chest, exhale and close the ribs. So lifting up, opening through the chest, the top of the back. Exhale and close. Two more like this. Breathing in. Keep your elbow joint soft. Exhale and close. Last one. Breathing in and breathing out. Now we're going to come into some upper back flexion extension. So I want you to imagine you're on a very high back chair. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to lift your upper back up and over the back of the chair. So your ribs will flare slightly. Keep your chin tucked. Then exhale. You're going to close the ribs and bring your nose towards your chest. Go again, breathing in, up and over that very high back chair. Tuck your chin, keep your neck safe. Exhale, close the ribs and round the upper back. So breathing in, up and over, coming into some upper back extension. Exhale and coming into some flexion, rounding the upper back. Three more, breathing in, up and over the back of the chair, opening the chest. Exhale and close. Two more, breathing in, Think about that very high back chair, tuck your chin, 
exhale and close. Last one, breathing in, up and over, exhale and close. Then just roll up through the spine. Take your band now, pop your feet in the middle of the band. So you want to make sure you've got even distance of the band on each side and we're going to cross the band over. And again, if you're very tight in the back of those legs, remember you can always bend your knees slightly. Make sure you're not leaning back. You want to make sure your shoulders above your ribs, ribs above your hips. Pull your shoulders away from your ears. Now when you hold the something, you tend to do this. So you want to drop those shoulders down and open your chest. We want to think about the waistline. So breathing in, exhale, you're going to twist towards the side. Pulling the band towards you, inhale, come back to the center. Exhale into the other side. So sitting right on top of your sit bones, you want to make sure your hips aren't moving. So you need to stabilize by switching on those abdominals. So imagine you've got headlamps on your hip bones. Don't let them move. Breathing out and in. Keeping those ribs soft and closed. Drop the shoulders. Breathing out. Now don't lean. When you pull back, the natural thing is to lean so you've got to stabilize by sitting nice and tall, right on top of those sit bones. And because you've got the band, you're going to feel that twist through the waistline a little bit more. Ribs are soft and closed. Breathing out and in, navel to spine. Exhale and inhale. Let's do two more. Breathing out and in. Last one, twist back to the center. Bend your knees and release the band. So just pop the band just beside you. Take a seat. Now you want a lumbar curve here. You want a long upper back. Keep your ribs soft and closed. Bring your knees together. Press them together because that's going to help you stay out of your quads. Big strong muscles. You want to engage the inner thigh and try not to use the quads too much. Drop your shoulders. Press the knees together. Breathing in. Exhale. You're going to roll your hips towards your ribs. Draw your navel to your spine. And I want you to go back as far as you can without letting your belly button pop out. Take a breath in, exhale, you're going to round your spine. So hug an imaginary barrel and reach for your toes. Then you're going to restack through the mid and upper back and find that length. Drop your shoulders, open your chest. Let's go again. Breathing out, roll your hips towards your ribs, draw your navel to your spine and try not to let your feet come off the mat. Breathe in, exhale, press the knees together, hug that imaginary barrel and reach for your toes. Restack the mid and upper back, drop your shoulders, open your chest. Let's go again. Breathing out, navel to spine, don't let that belly button pop out. Take a breath in, exhale, hug that imaginary barrel and reach for your toes. Restack to that mid and upper back, drop your shoulders, open your chest. Let's do one more. Rolling back, hips to ribs, navel to spine, now stay here. There should be no lower back strain. If you're feeling this in your lower back, Shift your body weight a little bit more forward. Otherwise, you're staying as back as you can, rolling the hips towards the ribs and navel to spine. You're going to extend your front leg. Keep the shape in the spine. Exhale, twist, and back to the center. Breathing out and in. Once again, it's back to that waistline. Let's do one more. Drop your shoulders. Exhale. Come back to the center, lower. Hug that imaginary barrel, reach for your toes, restack to the mid and upper back, drop your shoulders and let's do that on the other side. So rolling back, hips to ribs and navel to spine, drop your shoulders, chest is open, extend the other leg. Exhale, we twist towards the leg and back to the centre. Breathing out and in. Two more, twist, make sure the shape of the spine doesn't change. One more, strong abdominal connection here. Lower the leg, you want to keep engaging. So hug that imaginary barrel, reach for your toes, then restack to that mid and upper back, drop your shoulders and open your chest. Beautiful, keep your band close to you. Nice big shoulder roll, and we're gonna roll all the way down, setting up our neutral pelvis, neutral spine. So pop your feet flat. They need to be hip distance apart. Heels are comfortable distance from your butt and your pelvis needs to be neutral when we're lying in this position. What does that mean? Your pubic bone, your two hip bones need to be on the same level. So don't do this. 
Make sure you're not tipping either because that's going to give you an arch. You want to find the midway point between those two extremes. So pubic bone, hip bone's on the same level. I want you to think about an imaginary line running from one hip bone to the other. I call this your B line, i.e. your bikini line. So think of drawing your belly button away from that line, pulling it down towards your spine, and that's going to start to activate your abdominals. Your neck is nice and long, your chest is open. You want to keep that position of the body. Your spine is neutral, which means it follows its natural curvature. So there will be slight curves in your spine, and we're going to reach for the band. So you're going to lift one leg tabletop, place your foot in the middle of the band. Again, you want even length on each side. And you want your, we're using the legs, so you want the band to be quite tight, and you're going to point your toes. Now the option, if you're fairly new to Pilates, you might want to keep this bottom leg bent, otherwise you're going to extend it. But it's about your hips, so you want to anchor the elbows on the mat, because that's your tension in your band. So keep the elbows on and pull your shoulders away from your ears. Inhale, you're going to bring the leg across the midline. Exhale and take your leg out to the side, keeping the elbows on. Now if you're doing this, if your hips are shifting from side to side, that's no good. Just bend your knee. It's about what your hips are doing, not what your, how big that circle that you're making. Drop your shoulders, breathing in. So watch that opposite hip bone as your leg goes out. So think about that line running from one hip bone to the other. Whoops, don't let that band fall off either. Let's do three more. Breathing in and breathing out. Keep the elbows grounded. Two more. Navel to spine. So what we're doing is we're isolating the leg in the hip joint. But you need to maintain the stability of your pelvis by switching on those abdominals. Beautiful, bend that knee and let's change legs. So try not to let your band crinkle because that will be quite hard. You want to keep it nice and wide, which mine is crinkling at the moment. Make sure the foot's in the middle of the band, even length, and you're going to, even length, you're going to walk your hand down and you're going to anchor your elbows on the band. Option remember is to keep the other leg bent or if you want to work a little harder, extend that leg, point your toes. We cross the midline and we take the leg out to the side. Breathing in and breathing out. So watch those hips. If there's too much movement through those hips, you need to bend your bottom knee or you can make your circle a little bit smaller. Breathing in and breathing out. Relaxing that neck, head on the mat, three more. Exhale and take it out. Two more, breathing in and breathing out. Don't let those elbows pop off. Last one. And come back to the center. Bend that knee, bend your other knee. We're gonna come into our Pilates 100, but it's slightly different in this one because we're using the band. So pop your knees above your hips. You wanna make sure your lower back isn't lifting off, so you're still in that neutral pelvis, pubic bone, hip bones on the same level. Make sure your band's wide, place it on your shin bones. Now make sure you don't do this with your legs, they will move a little bit, but you want to keep the tension in the band, so pull it down and you're going to lift your head off. Now Pilates 100, we're staying here, pumping the arms, too much for your neck. Remember at any time you can land your head here. If your neck is good, let's peel the shoulder blades off. Tuck your chin, open your chest. Are you ready? We're pumping the arms. Here's your breath. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five. Stay with that breath. Keep the navel drawing down and towards your spine. Eye gaze towards your thighs. Tuck your chin. Your neck is long. Breathing in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, halfway, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, three, four, five, and in. Two, Three, feel the resistance of the band. Lift your chest higher if you can. Land your head if your neck's fatiguing. Short, sharp breaths. In through the nose. And out. Two, 
three, four, thirty more, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, last twenty, and in, lift your chest higher, breathe, drop those shoulders, last ten, and in, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five, pull the band down, lift your chest, hold it, and release. Release that band, hug your thighs in, and just let's release the lower spine. So heart rate should be up. If you felt any neck tension, that neck tension will improve as your abdominal strength increases. Come on up, so this next leg series is gonna work into your hips, your legs, and your glutes. Using the band, we're gonna come into our Pilates clam. So if you've got a nice long band, start off by placing the band just above your knee. If your band is short, it's going to be start off under the legs. You'll understand once you've tied it. So take your band underneath, cross it over, and then you're going to tie it. But before you tie it, I'd like you to take a look. And when you tie it, I suggest you tie it in a bow, because that's just a little bit easier to get out of when you need to change another exercise. So you're going to start off lying on your side. You want to make sure your shin bones follow the edge of the mat. You want to make sure your knees are directly in line with your hips. You're going to rest your head on your arm. And the important thing here is to, you're not going to feel your abdominals. You're going to feel your legs and your glutes, but you need to use your abdominals to keep your pelvis stable. So that top hip needs to stay on top of that bottom hip. So think about that line. And to help you keep your abdominals engaged, try lifting your waist off the mat, drawing up towards your belly button, and then you're gonna create a gap here. That's gonna help you keep engaged, and your fingertips are just resting. So the exercise is lifting the leg. You wanna make sure you've got enough range, because that's gonna give you a little bit of resistance. If it's too tight, it's no good. So just make sure before you tie it, You've got a little bit of movement there. So make sure you're set up. We're going to lift those ribs. Inhale, you're going to lift the ribs, navel to spine. Just relax your neck. Exhale, you're going to lift the whole leg. Inhale and lower down. And again, breathing out and in. Now make sure you're not giving me this. You want to make sure your ankle bone stays in line with your knee. Now think about squeezing, We're targeting that big butt muscle, your gluteus maximus here. So think about squeezing the butt muscle before you lift the leg. You've got five more, breathing out and in. Four more, lift and lower. Keep lifting those ribs. Two more, lift and lower. Last one and close. Now keep your toes together. Keep those ribs lifted. You're going to press and close. Breathing out and in. My leg's already shaking. Press and close. Now when you pick up that knee, make sure that top hip isn't rolling back. Lift those ribs. Lift and lower. Feeling that work in that big glute muscle. You've got six more. Out and in. Try and relax your shoulders and feel the resistance of the band. Four more and lower three and lower, two more and lower, last one and lower. Watch the change, you're going to lift those ribs, you're going to toe tap, knee tap, toe, knee, toe, knee. So watch those hips, toe, knee, toe, knee, toe, knee, six more, toe, knee, five more, navel to spine, Three, feel the burn. One more, and release. Good job. Smack those glutes, mine are on fire. Let's change sides. So if you need to adjust the tension in your band, I suggest you do it now while we're changing. And remember, the second side's always a little bit harder because you've already worked the first side. So you're going to re rest your head on your arm. You want to make sure your knees are in line with your hips. 
Make sure your shin bones are following the edge of the mat and your spine is following the back end of the mat. So let's lift those ribs up to start the engagement of those abdominals. Make sure that top hip isn't lifting. If you want to make sure your hips aren't moving, option is to stay here with your arm. Exhale, lift the whole leg and lower. Breathing out and in. So make sure that ankle is staying in line with the knee. Navel to spine, relaxing the neck and the face. Feeling that resistance, keep the abdominals engaged. Six more, breathing out and in. Five, four more. Navel to spine, two more. Last one, now we add the knee lift. So lift and lower. Now make sure that top hip's not moving. And how we're working into the internal rotators of your hip joint, warming and opening. Press into the band. Navel to spine, relax your shoulders. Six more and lower. Five, feel that resistance. Four, squeeze. Three, Two more. Last one. Ready to do the tap. So we tap the toes, the knee. Watch the hip. Toes, knee. Toes, knees. Lift the ribs, navel to spine. Toes, knees. Six more. Let's go. Breathe. Five. Four. Three. Two more. Last one. And release. Smack those glutes coming up and we're going to untie the band. If you can get out of that. So just untie the band when you're ready and then let's lie back onto the mat. So should I feel a great burn in those glutes. I'd like you to take the band just across your butt or the back of your hips. Stretching it out. You're going to balance on your nose. Holding the band with your arms, keep it quite taut, quite tight. Relax your shoulders down. You want to think about that Pilates triangle, your pubic bone, your hip bones need to stay on the mat. Think about squeezing your buttocks, turning your heels inwards, rotating your knees outwards. Balance on your nose, just allow your shoulders to roll forward. Think about that line connecting your hips, take a breath in, navel to spine. Keep the tension in the band, exhale and you're going to press against the band, widening it as you lift your chest. Opening the chest, breathe in, exhale and release the shoulders down and come back to balancing on your nose. Breathing in, navel to spine, exhale, press the band away, lift your chest, long line from the crown to the tailbone. Feet are grounded, breathe in, exhale, just releasing, relaxing down. Come back to balancing on your nose. Let's go again. Breathing in, navel to spine. Exhale, chest lifts. And reach with your arms. Inhale, stay. Exhale, and release down. Let's do three more. Breathing in, navel to spine. Exhale, chest lifts. Pull the band. And release down. Two more. Breathing in, navel to spine. Exhale. You want to think of lifting your chest, don't press the belly button out, and lower down. Navel to spine, feeling that openness across your shoulders, the top of your back, and your chest. Breathing in, navel to spine, last one, let's lift up, hold it, tuck your chin, navel to spine, and release down. Then I'd like you to stay there, just take the band above you, working into our upper backs now. Again, you want a little bit of tension in the band. Balance on your nose, navel to spine, squeeze the buttocks, turn the heels inwards. Take a breath in, exhale as you lift your chest off, pull against the band and lift your arms. Eye gaze to the mat. Inhale, hold, exhale and release down. So you want to feel this in your upper back, not your lower back. Take a breath in, navel to spine, exhale, chest lifts. Make sure the band is tight. Don't do this. Long neck. Breathing in. And relax your shoulders and neck down. Keep your feet grounded. Take a breath in. Navel to spine. Exhale. Chest lifts. Inhale. Stay. Exhale and release down. 
Let's do two more. Breathing in. As you lift your chest, make sure that belly button's not popping out. And release down. Last one. Breathing in. Navel to spine. Exhale. Chest lifts. Eye gaze to the floor. And release down. Beautiful. Release the band. Hands underneath your shoulders. Let's press back. Child's pose. So lower your foreheads, anchor your sit bones, walk your fingers away and breathe into the stretch. So warming up the back and through the shoulders for you, coming into our plank with the band. So this is a pretty intense exercise. Remember, you don't have to use the band. And I'll explain the options as we go along. So place your band wide across your mat. Be aware if you've got shoulder problems or back problems with this exercise, you're going to come onto all fours. Take your knees a little wider than your hips, your shoulders are above your wrists. Navel to spine. Now this is the option at any time is to come onto your knees. Make sure you're not there. Like you're diving into your swimming pool but at the same time you don't want to sink into your hips. Lifting up, shoulders back and down. Option to stay on the knees, as I said, otherwise tuck your toes and bring your body into one long line. We're going to land the knees, breathing in, exhale and lift, inhale lower and lift, two more and lift, last one and lift. Now stay here, take the arm furthest away from me and bring it into the middle of the band and you're going to turn into a side plank holding the band. Option to drop the knee, option not to use the band. Otherwise your feet are staggered. You want to lift that bottom hip and we're going to pull the band and close. You're going to lift. Now you want to extend that band right up to your chest, but I've got my mic in the way, so I can't do that. Up, lift that bottom hip, look straight ahead. Three more and lower. Two more, bend the elbow. Last one, hold it here. Now if you can, Lift your leg on the last two. Lift and lower. One more. Hold it up. Lower the leg. Lower the band. Come back to your front plank. Shoulders above your wrists. Land the knees and lift. Land. Two more. Land and lift. Last one. Now we're going to go to the other side. So I'll have my back to you. Place the other arm in the middle, make sure you've changed arms. When you turn to your side plank, you want to make sure your shoulder is above your wrist. Remember the option is to land the knee at any time. Squeeze the buttocks, we open the band and we close. Breathing out and in. Bend the elbow, lift the hips. Three more, squeeze the buttocks, engage your inner thigh. Last one, and the last two, see if you can lift your leg. You don't have to, but give it a go. Lift and lower. One more. Hold it. Lift that bottom hip. Land the leg. Land the arm. Come back to your front plank. Make sure you're square. Land your knees. Breast back, child's pose. That was tough. Anchor your sit bones, lower your forehead. Walk your fingers away and breathe into the stretch. Good job guys, lots of work through those shoulders. Just pop your band to the side and let's just finish off with a stretch. So lay your bodies down. Take your arms nice and wide to the edge of the mat. Balance on your nose, you're gonna squeeze those buttocks, turn your heels inwards, rotate your knees outwards. Take a breath in, navel to spine, lift your chest till you can go no more. Then press up, drop your shoulders, squeeze your buttocks. And lower down. Place your hands underneath your shoulders. Let's press back child's pose. Knees white, toes together. Anchor your sit bones, lower your forehead and walk your fingers away. Breathing into the stretch. Beautiful. You're going to finish off with a mermaid stretch with the band. So I'd like you to sit in 90-90. Remember if you have hip issues, this is not good for you. So you might want to just extend your legs. And you're doing the same thing except your legs will be long. Otherwise you're 90-90. Now my band's quite long, so I scrunch it at the bottom so that it doesn't flap in my face. You might want to just fold yours or do the same thing. It's just a whatever works for you really. 
You want the band to be your arms to be shoulder width. You're going to lift up, drop the shoulders. So you're going to lean to the side. So either hand on or elbow all the way down. Let the band go slack. Then I want you to pull against the band. Think of up and over and stretch to the side. And again, hand, elbow, slack, up and over. Beautiful opening through the chest and shoulders. Two more. Breathing in and breathing out, up and over. Last one. Inhale and exhale. Come back to the center. Lower the band. Let's change. The back leg comes forward. If you've got long legs, just keep them where they are. Make sure you've got that resistance. Hands in front of the shoulders. Let's lift up. Open your chest. Hand or elbow. Breathe in. Exhale up and over. Take a look under your armpit. And again, breathing in, so feel that resistance of the band, and breathe out, navel to spine. Two more, breathing in, and breathing out. Let's do one more, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, come back to the center, lower the band, and you are done. Well done guys, I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. And I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.